Okay, so it's no secret that buying parts for your Toyota Tacoma is an expensive hobby. And when it comes to buying parts, I typically try to go the OEM route or basically driving to the dealership or going online to an authorized Toyota parts retailer. I source my parts from there because they're guaranteed to fit my vehicle. They're typically pretty good quality. And for the most part, the parts also look really good on my vehicle. However, we all know that OEM parts are so expensive. Like take this TRD Pro grill, for example. I'm sure if you're a Toyota Tacoma owner, you recognize what this is. It's actually a really popular modification for people to take their stock grills off and replace them with one of these instead. Now that's if you don't have a TRD Pro and if you're looking to getting this actual genuine OEM part for your Tacoma, you're looking around paying four to five hundred dollars. That's brand new and that's not even counting the front garnish sensor cover which a lot of Tacoma owners need because their truck's compatible with it and has a front sensor. Additionally, you might also have have a camera. Anyways, this got me thinking, I know that a lot of people who want to do this modification end up going aftermarket. So they don't buy this OEM grill because it's super, super expensive. They'll buy a knockoff one, which by the way, the knockoff grill market for the Toyota Tacoma is so freaking saturated. There are so many different knockoffs you can get. And because of this, I was wondering, especially because again, I know a lot of people go the knockoff route. How well does a really cheap knockoff compared to this genuine OEM TRD Pro grill? So, that's what I did. I bought one of the cheapest knockoffs I could find and we're going to take a very detailed look at it. We're gonna put it up against the OEM part and just see how it compares. Now I'm curious, can you tell from here, from where you guys are situated, which one the knockoff grill is and which one the real is? Anyways, let's get into some comparison. Now I'm really curious, especially considering its price, to open up this box and see what this grill looks like. I mean, will it even come close to the quality of the OEM? Probably not, but we'll see. I don't know, I have kind of low confidence, but we're about to find out. Okay, so so far packaging looks actually pretty decent. I mean, I don't have an OEM one that came packaged to compare it to. All right, so this is it unwrapped before, I guess, partial assembly over here, as you can see. It's definitely different, and I wanna get up close to show you guys some of the details. Now with this fake grill, and I'm assuming any other non-OEM knockoff TRD Pro grills, you're gonna have to kind of do some assembly yourself. And basically the last step is to put the Toyota letters inside the grill, which this grill did come with. And I'm pretty sure with the regular OEM grill, you don't have to do this sort of assembly yourself. But with these knockoffs, you do because they basically skirt around getting sued or copyrighted by Toyota, rightfully so in my opinion, by not displaying or showing any of the Toyota trademarks, logos. Actually, it's really interesting because even though there are two T's, they're not the exact same piece. You can see there's like a cutout on the bottom of this one and there's no cutout on the bottom of this one. So this company kind of cleverly designed these letters to fit in a certain way. But yeah, that's why they didn't show this part of the grill on the pictures on the Amazon listing. You know, it's funny, sometimes I see them show a picture of this. 
they'll just say yo in the grill. But yeah, this is kind of their sneaky way of like not getting in trouble from Toyota, which is again why if you buy these knockoff grills, you're probably gonna have to do this letter assembly yourself. Because of the slotted design, they actually fit in quite nicely. Like they fit in pretty snug. But the package did come with a bag of screws to secure them into place. So let's flip this over. Oh, I think I lost some of my letters already. Yep, the Y fell off. By the way, as I kind of alluded to earlier, I picked up this knockoff on Amazon. It was the cheapest I could find in the TRD Pro grill style. It was $112, which is definitely orders cheaper than the genuine one, and it had half decent reviews. Also, I want to say that I don't really endorse buying these knockoffs. I only bought one for the video because I thought people would be interested in seeing the differences. I think it's totally fine to come up with your own design and sell that. Like, check out this modified one from Taco Clout. But as an engineer myself, I would hate to see my exact work and design copied in this cheap manner. I'm not shaming anyone who buys a knockoff because again, OEM is so expensive of course, but this is just my personal opinion about this. Okay, so from far away, from where you guys are standing, or maybe if you have really good eyes a little bit further back, I could totally see how someone would say that these two grills look very, very similar. However, that is definitely not the case, in my opinion, up close. Before we get into the nitty gritty details of this comparison, I do wanna say a couple of different things because this is actually not an exact apples to apples comparison for a couple different reasons. So number one here, this is our fake TRD Pro grill. You might notice this bottom section right here in the newer Tacoma TRD Pro models, or actually basically all the new Tacoma models, there's a sensor and sensor cover, which is actually what we have here on our genuine OEM grill. So sitting behind the grill here, you can see the sensor and there's a little wire coming out for that. And then this glossy piece over here is the garnish or the cover for that sensor. So I'm not gonna talk too, too much about this piece just because this grill doesn't have it. Now, I took a look underneath and it looks like we might be able to pop out this piece. There's like a couple different tabs, but I'm just not gonna be transferring the sensor over from the OEM real grill to this one for this video. But again, it does look like you can take off this front piece on this fake grill. Another thing you might notice on this TRD Pro grill is this camera over here. So yep, this is all 100% OEM. This camera slot is basically part of the plastic mold. And this particular TRD Pro grill knockoff that I got as you can see, does not have that molded piece where you can fit in an OEM camera. So again, I'm not gonna be comparing or really talking about the camera because this grill doesn't have it. Okay, sorry, the last, last thing I wanna say about this OEM grill, because I know you guys are gonna notice it as we are looking at it closer. Right here, this grill is cracked. There's a missing clip right here. This clip is also partially broken. This clip had to be JB welded back onto this grill. And there's a couple other places where there's cosmetic damage on this grill. Now, long story short, the reason for all of this damage on this OEM grill is because the truck that this was on, this truck, was actually in a pretty big front end crash. And if you've been around the channel for a while and you saw some of the before pictures, you might be pretty surprised that this grill even survived and this is the only damage it took. But yeah, this grill was actually part of the front end damage. It ended up just popping off. Probably, I'm not sure I wasn't there during the accident. But um, yeah, so despite the damage, we're still gonna be using this grill as a comparison point. So I'm gonna be kind of ignoring that on this grill. And on this grill, I'm gonna be ignoring the lack of sensor and camera cutout.
Now for the side-by-side -side comparison of these two grills. Now there's a couple different things to go over, but first, the biggest visual difference is the finish between these two grills. And I think it's actually coming through decent on camera. At least it's looking like that through the viewfinder right now. But this TRD Pro Grill has a very, very matte finish, almost to the point where it looks more so a charcoal, dark gray color rather than full black. And it's really not reflecting much light, at least compared to this genuine OEM TRD Pro Grill. For some reason, the closest thing I can think of to compare the knockoff grill color and texture to is a chalkboard. In person, that's really what it looks and feels like. It's giving me just chalkboard vibes. So I'm definitely no expert when it comes to plastic injection molding, which is of course how both of these grills are made. But I do know for a fact that this TRD Pro OEM grill is made out of ABS. And that's because on the plastic, you can typically see what material it's made out of because it'll be stamped somewhere. And this grill has ABS written on the back right under the Toyota logo, which also indicates that this is a genuine OEM part. According to the Amazon listing, this knockoff grill is also made out of ABS, despite the fact that the finishes look completely different. Now, again, I am no expert in this, so maybe someone in the comments can educate us. Maybe it's the heat, quality of materials. I, again, am not really sure why the finishes differ too, too much with the same material, but yeah, both are supposedly made out of ABS. Now I'm very aware that people have their preferences on whether they like matte versus glossy parts, but I will say in this case, the matte just makes this grill look like it's not up to spec in terms of quality when you're comparing it to this genuine part. Perhaps this is because you can actually see a lot more imperfections when it comes to the matte color. There's a saying that matte black is like the hardest color to keep clean and keep looking like it's brand new. Something that kind of happened in the five minutes I've had this baked grill is when I've been flipping it around to install the letters and stuff, I accidentally ran my fingernail pretty lightly over over this grill and now I can see even though I'm kind of trying to buff it out there is a visible scratch in this grill and my fingernails aren't even that long or anything I can already see my own fingerprints in this grill now gloss is a lot easier to keep clean and I will say I think this grill just also looks better in a more glossy configuration because if you've got a TRD Pro or a TRD Off-Road, and in some cases an SR5, your Tacoma will come with these unfinished fender flares. And the finish on those fender flares, while you might think they look matte, actually more closely matches this style grill and this colored grill versus this fake one over here. As I mentioned before, this one was in an accident and this one's a little bit dirty because I've been driving with it, but all things considered for 25,000 miles that this grill has been on, I don't really see any issues with the finish itself. So a few more things about the details and differences when it comes to the finish on both of these grills before we move on to talking about the Toyota letters, which I really think the knockoff grill looks so bad compared to the genuine one. The edges on the raised part of the grill over here and just anywhere where there honestly is an edge in general on the genuine grill, just are more defined. It makes the grill overall look more rugged. Like it's just got a much tighter radius. Whereas if you're looking at the mat, that's not so much the case. With the OEM grill on the back here, you can see that there isn't any excess plastic that's coming out or like hanging out of the pieces. 
The finish on the back is nice and smooth and there's even little details like the Toyota logo over here as I talked about earlier that really contrasts with the finish on the back of this grill. And I am being very nitpicky about stuff like this, but you can see there's some excess plastic over here, excess plastic right here, and this is front facing too, so you would see this from the front of the grill. A lot of just jagged edges in general, more excess plastic over here. And I noticed this as well. This doesn't just look like a scratch or a scuff. This actually looks like slightly burned or melted plastic. Again, I am being very nitpicky when it comes to stuff like this. I'm sure most people wouldn't care about little things like this, but my whole point about nitpicking on details like that is you don't see stuff like that on genuine Toyota parts. At least in my own experience with looking at these TRD Pro parts, the overall finish and quality is going to be tenfold better. That is something that the price of this grill reflects versus the price of this one. Okay, now for the biggest difference I see between these two grills, the lettering. This is where in my opinion, even if you aren't someone who cares too much about like the little details, so to speak, I think there's a gigantic difference in terms of appearance here. So starting out with our knockoff grill, these Toyota letters have kind of a raised part in the front and then the outline is the part that isn't raised and kind of sits back. As you saw me kind of put these letters in, you might know that these were all one piece, both the raised part of the lettering and the backing as well. And because each of these letters were all an individual piece, like this was all one unit, I would assume to keep costs down, can't think of any other reason, they decided to just paint the whole piece a single color. Now I'll give it to them. The color is pretty close, not quite the same, actually a little bit too light if we're comparing the color to the genuine part. But one thing about the genuine part is the backing is actually black, where again, because these letters on this fake part were all just a single plastic piece, the raised part and the backing are all a single color, that gray. Little things I notice is look at how precise the edges are and the corners are on this T on the OEM part versus the knockoff part where there's just very little definition here and little things like this add to the overall appearance. And then the other thing is that if you look at these letters on the side, you can very easily see the little slits where there's cutouts to fit these letters in. Again, maybe from far away, you can't tell these little differences or these details, but if you get anywhere close to this grill, it's very, very apparent that the quality on these Toyota letters is just nowhere near the OEM grill. So the last thing I wanna do for this video is take our fake grill and just see what the fitment is like. So here I've got the OEM surround and basically I'm just going to pop this in place. Okay, that took a little bit of maneuvering, but for the most part, this grill actually fits in pretty well. And I have to say, it seems pretty snug, so I'll have to give it credit on that. The bottom of the grill fits seamlessly in the surround piece. There is a tiny bit of a gap on the top, and one of the clips won't go in all the way, even if I push pretty hard. I don't wanna force anything. But overall, the fitment, I have to say, really isn't too, too bad. So guys, for reference, here's the OEM grill. You can see that there's a little bit less of a gap 
at the top of the grill. At least that's what I could tell. So perfect fit on the OEM grill, but of course that's expected. So the point of this video wasn't to figure out whether the savings you get by buying cheaper aftermarket parts is worth it versus OEM parts. I mean, I think you guys could tell from this video how I felt about the knockoff TRD Pro grill versus the OEM one. But anyways, all I'm trying to say is this is just one point of comparison. And I'm sure when it comes to knockoff TRD Pro grills in the market, there is a whole spectrum and you can probably find some sort of middle ground in terms of price compared to the OEM one and quality. But guys, I think I'm gonna stick to my guns here and really just say that I honestly recommend going OEM. Sure, OEM parts have made a decent dent in my wallet over the past couple of years, but I've had no issues with OEM. Another thing to think about is that OEM parts typically have a warranty and they're also typically tried and trued and tested, whereas that's probably not the case with a lot of aftermarket products. I think it's fair to say that you're less likely to have an OEM part fail over time versus a less expensive aftermarket replica. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to connect more with me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. I post more in real time on there but other than that, I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.